now, again, it's beautiful out here in Southern California. The weather is great. High tide is perfect. We got a little current going on, but you know, hopefully we can get something today. There we go! Oh, there it is! There, it is. there it is. Relax, 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 relax. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh. Is it on? Oh, he's on! Good morning. Kevin with the Rollingers Fishing Show. Got our little guppies out here. We are driving down to Marina Del Rey to the Venice Pier to fish with the sharking crew. We got our shark rods. We got some big hooks. Got our gear ready to go. Gonna go hang out, it's a potluck. It's about an hour drive down the beautiful PCH here in California. So if you're gonna see some shark fishing from a pier here in California, down in Marina Del Rey on the Venice Pier with the Rollingers Fishing Show, a handful of guppies doing our thing. Let's go. I'm ready. Shade, you ready? What you'll see is how we're fishing these sharks. The shark has much more of an advantage than to say you're fishing off of a boat or something where you have an opportunity to walk around the boat or position the boat to, to get the fish. Here the shark's got all the upper hand. It can run under the pier, snap you off on a pylon. So it's uh, definitely in the shark's favor. Venice Pier. These guys are hardcore shark fishermen. You're gonna get a chance to see it in action, man. You can hear the waves are breaking pretty good. And this is that California living. Okay. So we're gonna have fun. We can tell with a smile on my face, man. All the activity down here. Cell A at its finest. Here, we always have our utility bag. That has all of our stuff in there. Pliers, rags, knives. Here's the box. Usually you're gonna be catching bait, mackerel and stuff to use fresh live bait. So we got some rods here to use, a little lighter line to jig up mackerel for live bait. And we're gonna show you all this cool stuff, man. In the ocean, you can catch anything. Shoot, last week at our kid day, we caught a 200 pounds bat ray. So that's the beautiful thing about ocean fishing. So just gotta get ready for it. Big gear, small gear, live bait. We got all the gear out, ready to go up on the pier. Say hello to Jaime and the crew. Let's go. It's just that California living. All right, so right here with Jaime, tell them where we're at. We at Venice Pier, California, the home of the sharking crew and home for other fishing anglers and fishing crews. This is their home as well. well let's get set up, show you some action, show you the setups with the Rollingers Fish Show with Jaime with the our sharking crew. So you know Dave right here, this is Dave, right? He's a killer. You've seen one of our major guppies been with the program for a long, long time. Let me show you this cool feature that they have here on the pier, too. Because they have a, a rod holder here. So we, when we cast it out there, we put it on clicker that there's a place to hold your rod here. And uh, that's I've never seen that at a pier before. Actually, I don't think I've ever been on a cement pier before. So ours is wooden and one of Ventura is wooden. Right. But again, get out, you know, see some things, do some fishing. Enough of me yapping, David. Ready to do some catching? Yeah. What do you tell them? Let's go. This is your rod here, Dave. What are you waiting for? That, that sweet sound? All right, so this is Dave's. We're gonna get the other pole set up. Kevin Jr., you ready to go? Let's see what you got. Let's, let's get his out there, too. Got a hookup over there. Hey, hey, bring that white one in. Grab this one. Okay. What you wanna do here? Watch Anthony. Stay with him this way. Fight the drag up. Fight the drag up. So we got our first fish on here. You guys gotta work together out here, right? When you're yes, fishing sir. on the pier. We have to work together as a team. What is it? What is it? It's a, it's a two pound bat ray. Two pound bat ray. What you got there? Got a stingray. 
Okay, right now I'm putting safety gloves because since you're using braid line, and uh, since it's braid line 100, we're gonna be careful. I love my fingers that much. I don't wanna really lose my thing. So we're gonna bring them up. Big day. Run over. Come on over. So you guys know about bat rays. Bat rays has a little fin in the back. You gotta be careful. All right, since he's a small guy, we're gonna go ahead and throw him back. Let him grow. So that's the stinger you're talking about? Rob? That's the stinger right there. You guys gotta be careful to that stinger. That's how Steve Irwin died. All right, here we go. Going back in the water. Hold it down. There he goes. Today's episode is brought to you by Maui Gym Sunglasses, Fishing Syndicate Rods, Promar Ahi USA, Angler Wear, Channel Island Sport Fishing. What's up, everybody? Jaime from the Sharking Crew. We have our Sharking Crew member. Christian Bustamante. And tell them what you got in your hand. Tell them what you're doing today. I got my uh, crosswater fly rod, five weight, and I'm gonna be using the uh, self-tied fly that's a sand flea. It's basically going for the surf rich around here. Gonna be able to get uh, hit the surf and everything. Probably gonna go inside my boots, but don't worry, not really worried about getting my boots wet. So gonna try and get as much as we can and see how the fly goes today. You need a oh, okay. fishing license for that, right? When yes. you're fishing on surf? Yes, you do. Okay. Anytime that you're fishing on surf, you always have to have your California fishing license. Now, my thing is, I'm looking at your pole and I'm like, wow, a lot of people will use this for lakes, but you brought it to <laughs> the pier, but you're gonna fly line it off the surf, correct? Of course, gotta do it any way you can. Awesome, awesome. You heard it here from Chris, Jaime from the Sharking Crew. Stay tuned. So, we are using this sardines right now. Dead or alive, they'll hit. So right now, let's go ahead and hook them up and tie them up on the nose. This is a perfect setup. So hopefully you can catch a halibut. You're this clear. You're all clear? <laughs> You're clear. All clear. So I'm gonna put this out there for uh, for young little David. Him that he passed away. So we got this little baby squid I'm gonna use. David's got sardine. I think he's got sardine. So I'm gonna put that out here. Get a good distance here, my nine footer. Should get us away from the pier a little bit. Yeah. See everybody set up here? We have four rods set up. David, yeah. Kevin Jr., me, Anthony. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna show you the setup that we use out here at Venice Pier to catch our sharks. So start off, I'm gonna start showing you our shark leaders. So we're using wire uh, braid. It's a 150 pound test. Size six owner hook that runs down to the swivel to our mono uh, 170 pound test to our swivel slider. So what we do, I'm using one hook. I grab the bait. I just hook them up to the nose and I'm putting two. Yeah, there's a lot of fish out there right now. They're really hungry, so we're gonna give them like a buffet thing going on. Going out. Oh, let's go. And as you can see, I probably might pass the dolphins right now. Dolphins? <laughs> dolphins. So now he's gonna throw the slider in there. So all he's gonna do now is gonna fly all the way down. Keep an eye on your set up okay. the, I'm gonna lose my drag up, put the clicker, and check out the drag tight. So I know if when it takes off, I know he's there. Just leave it right there with it. So what happened, I had a burn nest, and I had this pole since I got here and I haven't checked it. So normally what I'll do, I'll wet it with the water bottle. So when I cast it out, my line, my line will be smooth to my finger. So when I hold my thumb on it, so I won't get that burn nest, especially when it's dry line. So my line is tight and nice and neat. I can go ahead and put the leader on. Keep that line tight. Keep it straight. And here we go. Off it goes. I've noticed the water right now is kind of like chummy as dirty as it's because we had rain last night. But believe it or not, after the rain, that's when a lot of fish comes up. 
gonna be good fishing today. We're gonna get some action. So we got plenty of poles set up. I think about how cool like generous you guys have been to us out here with everything opening it up, man, and just looking forward to listening to that sweet music that <laughs> sound, uh, that music, sound? that music to no, our right ears, there. that yeah. music to our ears. Look at everybody look, <laughs> everybody look. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, we having a good time ready. There is look. Yeah. See him there? There it is. Right oh, you there. know what? It's a mama and a baby. Oh yeah. Look, see, look, look how little the one is in the front. You got him right there. I lost them. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Goes right there. Oh, so you got the big one. And then you have the little juvenile up in the front. <laughs> Normally when you have that, it's, they slow down so that way the endurance of the smaller dolphin, the ones can keep up. So they'll take a break so that the smaller ones like they, they'll leave behind it. Mom and Papa. See it. Yeah. Just cruising along. They're not going at full speed. They're not chasing any bait. But again, that gives the dolphin, the little one, a chance to, you know, can catch his breath and, and cruise along. Welcome back. Kids Corner is brought to you by Maui Gym Sunglasses. Let's go. Hello, on today's Kids Corner, we were fishing on the speed joint at the Channel Islands Marine Sanctuary thanks to Captain Rollins' kids program. We were able to go deep sea fishing in the Channel Islands. We were catching calico bass, barracuda, and perch. Let's go. Fishing show, Kevin Brandon, the Guppies, the Sharking Crew, Venice, California. Let's go. I'm Dick. I'm from Victorville, California. I bought a balloon launcher, got two pieces of pipe, and made myself a bait launcher. I'm going to grab my four foot rod and I'm going to launch my way way out there. And you found that this thing launches it further than you on a 12 foot pole? Yep. Nice. So, what I did with these poles, in order to attach them, I drilled holes to where it fits these hooks on both sides. So one person can use this. You put the weight okay. right in the middle, and you that. Oh, I'm gonna get a shot from this angle. Lower, lower. Dale. Whoa. So I see a theme here. It's like teamwork is mandatory, right? I mean, yes. Everybody's having a good time. Lots of laughs. You're gonna hear laughs in the background. You know, again, we're not using no microphones today. We just want all raw. You can hear it. We'll beep out any f bombs. But again, that's part of fishing. But the teamwork, man, and the camaraderie that you guys have here. But like an adventure like this, the fish are coming and going. You're going up and over. Teamwork is pretty much the name of the game. We're not here yeah. fishing these big, bigger fish. Basically, we're fishermen. We're a family. We help each other out whenever someone loses a bait. We have extra. Here, here's another big. Let's let's get you set up and let's get you on another fish. 
and we're just trying to help each other out. That's one of the fishermen's coat, helping each other out. We're not trying to outfish anybody or see who's better than the next person. We're all trying to catch fish and enjoy each other's company. Have a good old time. We at least we got the name of the Shooter McGavin. So you guys seen the Shooter, that's the Shooter McGavin Cannon. The Shooter McGavin Cannon, that's what we're going to call it. Alright, so you know what? Uh, right now, you can see we just waiting, enjoying the laughs, having a good time, waiting for one of these reels to sing that music that we love to hear. When it that, that clicker bells runs, that's when you're gonna see every all these guys acting really serious and working as a team. Right now, again, it's beautiful out here in Southern California. The weather is great. High tide is perfect. We got a little current going on, but you know, hopefully we can get something today. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, hook up. Now relax, 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 relax. Bring your legs. Bring your legs. Bring that one in. Bring that one in. Where you at? Follow your line. Follow your line. Hey, bring this one in. You got the way, boys. Let's get to help him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get ready. Get ready. I don't know. Wait to see what he says. Just get ready. Just being ready. Bring it in. Is that the same one from earlier or same? That's same? the one he just launched, guys. I was going to say that's the one he just launched. <laughs> <laughs> they all working as a team. Look at this. Got you going. We got two, got two running. Got two running. Let him go down. Bring him up. Hey, hey. We're at a combined. Okay, that one, we can bring him up with the line, okay? We're going to bring him up. To the other fish? Should we get the other one? The other one. Yeah. <laughs> Mud Okay. Hey, uh, put your paws on. Put your paws on. Are you gonna keep it? Or are we gonna drop it? Going back in the water. Just going back in the water. It's good to have, especially when you guys use your braid line. Always have a pair of gloves. All right, going back in the water. <laughs> Tell them. All day. It's all about teamwork, guys. Yeah, it's all about try. teamwork. We Teaching these guys all about well, safety and your surroundings at all times. See these new Maui gems that I just got? These are the brand new ones right here. Look at that. Pee-wee. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one strip of squid and a little piece of sardine. Throw it out there to see if we can get bit. Got to catch something to keep us entertained. Are we for the big sharks? See? Look at that. <laughs> I could have helped myself. Uh, we're using teamwork out here, catching the sharks. The guy launched it out, and then five minutes later, he catches the bat ray. Alright, ready? Come on, Kevin. It's a bat ray. <laughs> we gonna wait um, for a high metal what? Oh no. Just say dog. Like 20 pounds. Let's go see if the barbecue's about to be ready. Hang out, feed the birds, feed the pigeons. Just have fun, man. The Royal English Fishing Show. Oh, they got it, they got it. The grill's about to go down. Oh, 
What you got, man? I have no idea. Sandy. Ma, Sandy, you got your finger on. Uh, I got a little sand bass. <laughs> I like these. These are fun to catch. So, a uh, little sand bass, a barb sand bass. Yeah, going back home. Bring me your bigger, bring me your bigger buddies. Yeah, you guys are fun to catch. Oh, you drop it? Yeah. Oh, what's the species? Smells good. Man, it's bananas out here with the Sharky and crew. A Venice Pier, man, it's been great. We're almost done here, but man, this is how you do it out here, man. Good times, good food, good people. They catch a couple of crazy fish with a couple of crazy people. Real Lakers Fishing Show. Get a plate, brother. Thanks. Big shout out to my boy Kevin for being out here. Real angler show for showing the love and support. And us, the Sharky crew, again. Signing out. Peace. Peace. Rolling your fishing show, Venice, California. I'm going to go eat. Thanks a lot. Catch us next time. Again, we're in Venice, California. From pier to pier, from here to there. Rolling your fishing show. Let's go.